Alright, what is going on guys, it's Taz here, and welcome back to the channel. Superman and Lois Season 3 has once again proved why this show is one of the highest quality pieces of DC TV content we've ever received. Not only is it tackling a very difficult subject with Lois's cancer diagnosis, but it is also placing Superman in a very unique position we don't often see him in. A situation in which he cannot solve things just simply by punching his way out. He is powerless to help Lois in this scenario as Superman. All he can do is be Clark Kent and support Lois by being there in her time of need. While this storyline may feel a little too real or hits close to home for many viewers, I feel like they are presenting things very respectfully while also telling a very captivating story and still holding on to that hope that all Superman stories are known for. On the villain side of things, we have Bruno Mannheim leading Intergang with the help of Onomatopoeia over in Metropolis, seemingly trying to perfect the creation of super-powered beings with the use of Superman's DNA, which more recently has led him to digging up the body of Bizarro from Season 2. So far, I'm very happy with where Superman and Lois is headed here in Season 3, Bruno Mannheim being a villain not only for Superman, but for Lois too, possibly being the person that can also help her get through her dire diagnosis, and I just cannot wait to tune in week to week. However, one character that was announced before the season even started airing has not made their way on screen just yet. That is until we received the most recent teaser for what is to come towards the end of season 3. The CW released a full teaser for Michael Cudlitz's Lex Luthor, who has spent the last two decades in prison plotting and planning his return and inevitable revenge on the man who placed him behind bars, Superman. The teaser very much so is just that, a teaser. It does its job of not giving too much away about the later portion of the season, all while building up the right amount of hype for the most iconic Superman villain. Lex Luthor has been in Strikers Island Prison for the better part of 20 years, as Lois says in the trailer. And with Lex's time spent in solitude, he has had the time to formulate a way to get even with the Man of Steel. In true Lex Luthor fashion, it seems like by the time his stay comes to a close, he will be the one practically running Strikers Island. Gather my things, I'm a free man. Love the fact that they are using Strikers as the prison Lex is in, paying homage to the Superman mythos with the prison that is commonly located on an island between Metropolis and Gotham. This teaser also definitely gives off some of the same vibes I got from early on in Arrow Season 7, when Oliver was in prison, or even Classic Prison Break Season 1. I wonder if we will spend a lot of time focusing on Lex's prison sentence, as it appears we see quite the span of time just from this teaser. He has hair, then he cuts it all off, because as he says, I cut my own hair, and gets some good body weight only prison workouts in, preparing for his rematch against Superman. Taking a closer look at Michael Cudlitz in the role, he just looks so damn menacing, and like a true threat to Superman, not only mentally, but physically as well, if he hopped into a Lexo suit. It is definitely possible that we spend a good chunk of whatever episode Lex is introduced in, setting up a bit of his backstory on the Earth of Superman and Lois. Maybe we get to see how Superman stopped him originally, and then go into what we see here in the teaser. I would 100% be down for a full-on Lex-centric episode this season, if it fits the story. The more likely option, however, would be the classic cold open montage, where we get all of the backstory we need before the opening title sequence. From what has been said behind the scenes, it seems like Bruno Mannheim and Intergang really are the true big bad and threat of the season, and all of this Lex stuff is just set up for a potential season 4. 
Back when Lex was first announced to be coming to the show here in its third season, I had theorized that maybe he was the one truly pulling the strings from behind the scenes while in prison. However, now five episodes into season three, I don't think that is the case anymore. Bruno Mannheim explained in the most recent episode a lot of his backstory. Growing up in a rough part of Metropolis, how the rich and powerful people like Lex Luthor didn't care what happened to his family or others in similar circumstances. This is why he created Hobbs Bay Medical Center as a way to give back to his community, or at least that is what he is trying to project as his public image. When in reality, Bruno has been conducting shady off-the-books experiments, trying to create metahumans, employing the help of others like Anamanapia, and of course, running the criminal organization of Intergang. So my theory as of now as to how Lex plays into all of this, contrary to what most people are thinking, is that he's completely disconnected from Mannheim at the moment. However, once he gets out of prison towards the end of the season, Lex may take what Bruno has been doing as an opportunity to reemerge as a changed man trying to redeem his public image, all while secretly working to take down Superman in the background. Overall guys, I wouldn't expect to see Lex show up until the last handful of episodes this season, as once again, I don't feel like he really has any connection to Mannheim or Intergang, as they will still be the true main villains. However, he may use their inevitable defeat at the end of the season, most likely with Superman taking down the physical threat, while Lois is able to expose Bruno for the criminal mastermind he truly is with her reporting skills. With Bruno and Intergang out of the picture, Lex Luthor will be able to take that opportunity to re-establish himself in Metropolis and enact his revenge plot, most likely leading into the story of Season 4. This would also line up with many rumors that the show could be moving from Smallville to Metropolis for the fourth season, but as always, we will just have to wait and see how this all plays out. So with that said guys, I've been really enjoying season 3 of Superman and Lois so far, can't wait for the next episode when the show returns on Tuesday, and I'm super pumped to get another version of Lex Luthor introduced on screen to face off against Superman. Crazy how Lex's beard seems to just get longer with each new incarnation of the character. But I want to know what you guys thought about all of this down there in the comments below. What do you think of Superman and Lois Season 3 so far? Are you excited for Michael Cudlitz's take on the character of Lex Luthor? And do you think his return is all set up for a potential fourth season or something else entirely? Just let me know your thoughts on all of this down there in the comments below. But until next time, guys... It's been Taz, and I'll see you guys in the next video.